you know, like I said, I've, I have some resentment towards him, but I didn't let it carry into the into the match. And you know, the first reach out kind of hit him nice, and um, you know, he turned his back to me. And um, I'm just, I, like I said, I'm a little bit old school. You know, like this is a fight at the end of the day. You know, don't turn your back on somebody. I don't know where he learned his self defense or his martial art that he's learned, but um, I would never teach any of my students to turn their back on somebody. So maybe I taught him a lesson today. Um, also. You know, the match didn't go the way I wanted. I had a couple of my, you know, really strong moves, like my 50-50 of the arms DVD that I put out, some Kimura transitions. I couldn't get to to get him to turn. You know, he's very strong, and he's got super flexible arms. Like, his arm bent behind him once, and I was for sure that that bend behind him was going to make him turn and run, but he didn't turn and run, and, uh, you know, he made, a, he made it a, you know, his classic, boring AJ Agas arm match, which is kind of, he's a wrestler at heart. You know, he wants to pull and try to take me down. And I just did my best to not allow that and, you know, try to get to my strong moves. And I put some positions where I almost passed a couple of times. And, you know, he was on the he was on the backup end of it, you know, just trying to catch up. You know, I don't, like I said, I don't hold any resentment. I was My plan was at the end of the match to say, hey, man, let's try to put this behind us. But apparently it's not going to happen because he, he made a big, uh, big thing about it, you know, trying to boo me. And, again, I don't care. I got the W. Catch me again. Catch me when you want, you know. I'm 6-0 and against you. So, you know, I, I want to thank everybody from my school, you know, my URMA family, my fight sports family. These guys, these guys right here helped me big time in the training for my gi preparation. This is my, my, my home base in training. Um, Matt Arroyo, who lives in Tampa, has his whole school out here. He's one of my good friends, too. And uh, the RMA in fight sports is one. Love you guys. Love everybody that helped me. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Master Cyborg. And, um, hey! Was the plan to be really physical with him? What was yes, the plan? Yes, plan there? was to bully him. I wanted to bully him and not let him get the get the upper hand in the, in his game, you know, and be more physical and, and you know and stuff his takedowns and try to get to his back or make him pull guard like he did right in the beginning when I first stuffed his takedown. You know, just try to get get to him. You know, I even pulled guard, tried to go up for his arm and he sat back because I had it for a second. But again, the game was to be overpower him and put him put him down and, and out. What was the um I'm sorry. What, um, the atmosphere out there. It was um, awesome. It was crazy. I've never Let me seen tell anything you, like it. Fight to Win has the best, right now I'm going to have to say it, the best platform in, in, uh, in jiu-jitsu competition. They, they treat everybody here like professionals, man. This is it. This was my dream 10 years ago. And um, it got changed and derailed, and I wasn't able to pursue it the way I wish I had. But, um, you know, I'm happy just to be here. I'm happy to be invited and be part of this and in my home state with my family behind me. You know, and... Uh, I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't be happier. You know, it's like I want to cry. I'm living a dream. I just want to ask about the resets. It seems AJ was was really upset afterwards about the resets coming back to the middle of the mat. Did you he, have any? He was every time we reset it. Like the one time, the first one, we I literally took a step and went off the mat, and he wanted me on my back, and I was like, that was not where I was. You know, I slipped and I was still on my feet. You know, I had one foot underneath me and the other one off the stage. He wanted me to be swept on my butt, and I'm like, that's not how I was. And then he came back with like three grips on the gi. I'm like, yo. That's, you know, he had his foot, his hands, both his hands collapsed on the game. Like, you had one hand in there. And every time it was like an argument, it was like a, like a pain in the butt to get back to where we started. And, you know, I, I feel him. He was trying to get an upper hand to put me down, but it's not going to happen. You know, his, his wrestling is, is garbage. Crazy environment out there, you know. What does it mean to you to, to come away with the win today? It's, it's a dream. I, like I said, it's a dream come true. You know, jiu-jitsu's taking that next step forward, you know, next into into that professional look you know this is like i said this was my you know one of the reasons why i transitioned out of jiu-jitsu you know about 10 years ago you know when i got recently got my black belt i just didn't see opportunities like this you know to come compete you know i feel like it's not fair that a guy who's at that next level has to go pay to compete you know that doesn't that that's the reason why i took a step back and i said i'm not gonna i'm not gonna spend my hard-earned dollar to go get a medal you know that's not it's not my dream my dream is to entertain to make nights like this, environments that people remember. There's gonna be a memory in, you know, everybody's head, you know, this is that's what I that's what I've started it for. You know, I know I got booze out there for, you know, my my um my actions, you know. I I hope I didn't offend anybody, you know, except for AJ. You know <laughs> it, uh, that wasn't my plan, but you know, I I gotta do what I gotta do, you know. Is it over between you and AJ? To me it's 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 over, you know, he's like I said, he 
I, he, he continuously comes back with some sort of disrespect for him. You know, I imagine tomorrow I'll open the internet and find something that, you know, brings it to the next level. You know, I feel like if you had something to say, you should have said it about five minutes ago out there on the mat when we were face to face. Make it happen there, you know? If you couldn't make it happen and say something to me there, you know, he's a keyboard warrior, just like a lot of the new generation of people, you know? They got nothing to say in your face. He walked around here all three last days looking down, never looked me in the face, you know? He, he don't got it, you know? I get it. Got to use the, you know, the power of social media to, to market himself. So, like I said, I'm sorry to anybody that got offended by my actions today, but it's not wasn't my intentions to, to offend anybody. But at the same time, I'm I'm here to fight. You know, if you ain't ready to fight, don't come to fight me.